And still on the effect of COVID-19 pandemic across different nations of the world, we are now We'll now cross over to Fiona Musana Marwa, an independent communications consultant working across Africa to bring us up to speed with the current situation in Kampala, Uganda. Good to have you join us, Fiona. Thank you for having me. Good. Which is right. so what is happening where you are right now? Uganda has been and it's going to continue in April uh, from, we do have 55 COVID-19 cases. We are grateful so far that there's been no reported deaths. Over 6,000 people have been tested. We also have about 800 people that are under institutional quarantine. What we can say is under the, pres under the current president, Museveni, and the Minister of Health, Uganda is really taking the right steps to contain the, the COVID-19. Um, how confident are you in these steps that have been taken? Are they adequate uh, from your assessment so far? Uganda has had an amazing uh, record when you look at the way uh, President Museveni handled and his team handled the HIV AIDS pandemic. You look at how they dealt with Ebola, and also with the current health minister, Dr. Jaina Cheng, who's very much a hands-on uh, medical doctor who knows what's happening. So there is a strong confidence in terms of the way the Ugandan government is handling the coronavirus. Okay, well, well how are the people uh, responding to the measures uh, being put in place by the government? Generally, we've sort of, uh, from my assessment, the fact that we cannot travel, you're contained. I live in Kampala, you cannot travel to another district. So generally, there is, we've accepted that this is what happens. This is what needs to happen for us to contain this disease. The fact that we do have the president speaking to us maybe every four, three, four days is helping people, ease people's um, tensions, anxiety. But that said, the fact that Ugandans, over 60% of Ugandans rely on subsistence farming, they rely, you know, daily living, we don't quite know what will happen to us maybe in another three weeks. So the, there's going to be a need to make sure that people's anxieties are calmed down. Okay, um, there's a global um, uh, race to find a vaccine for the uh, virus. Do you know if there are, th there are any moves in uh, that country for, um, th from the scientists towards this purpose? As far as we're aware, uh, I'm part of a, and I just mentioned that, part of a media group. Uganda's, again, the journalists, communicators are all part of a, a, a WhatsApp group. As far as we're aware, that's not really happening now. We are relying on what's happening internationally. We're following WHO. I will see with one of our scientists, Professor Maskwa, who's really backing the movement to support WHO. So back to your question, I don't quite know whether we have anything happening now, but we are following the international lead. All right, thank you very much for joining us, Fiona, on the news. Thank you very much. Uh, stay safe and stay healthy. You too. You too.